The next thing which we're looking at to do with databases is the component of reports. And reports are a way of getting data out of the database. And if we take a look at an example report, typically a report will be printed out, although it could be made into a PDF and an electronic document. And it's read-only. They're not things where we can enter in, like on a form. It's a read-only method of getting things out. And so here we've got an example report, and in this example, we can also use more than one table. So we can use a query result in order to build our report. And so here we've used the films database, uh, sorry, the films table for this information, and that came from the films table. And the actors table has given us this information, and the directors table has given us this information. So a query has combined all of that together, and then we've made a report based on that query. Some of the advantages of using reports are that we get improved presentation. So it's another way to present our data. So here I could have put a logo or a picture, and I've been able to customize my font size and style. I've also been able to customize how big I want the font for layout here, and I could have also added lines if I'd wanted. So presentation is one of the big reasons that we do reports. And we can look at some examples where you may want to do reports. So maybe you have a school database. You might choose to use reports for writing, funnily enough, the school reports. So you've got that data in a database, you want a printed thing which you're going to send home, so school reports may be a way in which you make use of the reports. It might be that you have some personal information, a database of clients in a company, and you want to produce a list of phone numbers. Or I guess on a bigger database you might produce a phone book. That's just a, a huge report. Equally in a company, you might have a company where you're selling things and your database is recording all those sales. So it might be that you produce a report of monthly sales. And reports can also group together information. So that would be possible to produce the monthly sales along with the totals. And just going back to look at the report which we produced, some key features of reports which we would expect to see in a typical report. So the key features that we would possibly be looking for would be the title of the report and you would expect to see appropriate subtitles or should I say headings, column labels, and an appropriate layout, so the way this is laid out is appropriate, it's not all over the place. You would also expect to see, which you can't see on here, but would be on the full report, you would expect to see the date and possible time that it was produced, along with some page numbers. And so these are some key features that typically you would see on a report, which you wouldn't necessarily be seeing on a form and certainly wouldn't be seeing on a normal table view.